Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the Caldoji channel, back with another video. And today, we're gonna be doing what every single other Bloxbridge YouTuber is doing. Just because, you know, I'm trying to make some ideas for future videos. So, if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and turn on that bell icon for future notifications, just so you know whenever I upload. So, today, we're doing a tier list on every single Blocks fruit in the game and ranking them from god tier all the way down to d tier so you guys have probably already know how this goes s means the best god means the best d means the worst whatever it may be and also uh i think by the time this video gets out i will reach a thousand subscribers so i will be making a special about that as well but anyways let's just dive right into the video starting off with barrier i don't know man barrier ugh, if you think about it barrier has some pretty good like like you know defense if you, if you think about it like here there's like good you know traversal there's like the, the stairs i mean honestly the stairs aren't that good but like you know there's still some other stuff like let's see yeah there we go that just comes out of nowhere the barrier towers you just drop it down it's, it's pretty good you know honestly i think i'm gonna have to rate this uh i want to rate it c but i feel like it deserves b just because there's like other stuff right by it like blizzard we gotta we gotta go higher so let's do like Let's do C tier just because there's just so many fruits that are better than it. So we're gonna go C tier. Blizzard. All right. I actually don't know the moves of Blizzard, so let's go check that out. Okay. Nice. That looks pretty cool. The Shurikens. All right. Well, that looks like good for range attacks, and it does pretty good damage too. Two thousand. Oh man. Well, it does the same thing as the Shuriken. The same amount of damage. The Whiteout, the Hollowing Wind, whatever it may be. Let's see this one. Okay. Well, these look at, like these look like they're good for combos, and they're really far away too, so you can just sit back and hit him. Yeah, man, this looks like a pretty good. Yeah. Okay. He just created a whole room, man. I think I'm gonna have to go. Honestly, like, all right. So, like, comparing it to all the other fruits here, not just like going like off of the words I have, because I know every single other fruit. I just haven't seen Blizzard yet. I'm gonna go A tier. A tier for Blizzard. Bomb fruit. All right. We know that most of the moves are pretty much useless. Uh, you know. Just like all together, it's a it's a slow fruit. There's no you know I don't think there's any F move so that you can like traverse. The only good thing is like the the mine placement thing where you place it all around the map and you're just your your NPC or your guy just like he just <laughs> walks into it by accident. So I think I'm gonna have to go hmm, just because of that move. Bottom of C tier. Buddha fruit, pretty much like the best fruit for grinding. Period. Uh, actually, light fruit. But anyways. Buddha fruit, it's pretty good for grinding, but for the fruit itself, not that good, you know? The moves have altogether just like, you know, not that much damage going for it, and it's they're pretty slow. You know, you're a giant Buddha, so of course you're going to be slower unless you just dash a bunch, and the moves altogether are just not that good for the fruit itself. If you have a good combat style or a good sword, and you have the, the points for that, then go ahead, use Buddha as much as you want to grind, because you can just hit someone from like, as far as blizzard goes you know so because of that i think i'm gonna go with hmm, honestly ah, because it's really good for combat too i didn't mention that let's go bottom of a tier we might move that later you know all right chop fruit i i think we know where this is going there's pretty much nothing going for this fruit period there's nothing at all you know <laughs> the moves suck the there's no i don't think there's any like oh there's a car you can become a slow moving car i think the only thing that's going for it is that uh, you can you can like dodge I think sword attacks yeah you can dodge sword attacks like you'll just like be immune to them even with hockey on you'll be fine but still D tier you know all right control fruit one of my friends mains control and it's honestly meh people would want to rate uh control higher just because of the reputation it has but to be honest like it's not that good in blocks fruits it is pretty good but like for combat I don't know man I have some pretty mixed feelings about it. Not only does it need a rework because it's completely outdated, but the moves are very slow and honestly, <laughs> yeah, just the moves are slow, not that good for combat. It could use some work. That's all I could say. If it if it had work done on it and it maybe like fixed some bugs about it and maybe made like an awakening in the future, then I would rate it an A tier, but for now, B tier. Darkness fruit. Now we get to we get to some stuff like this which have an awakening. So, the non-awakened dark is pretty bad, you know? Let's go look at the moves. All right, we got this guy showing us the darkness fruit. Let's see. Yeah, there's only four moves, and, you know, it's just dark bomb. This one just, like, yeah, it goes on the ground. Some pretty good damage, but, you know, you have to get very close to your opponent. 
uh, like with the blizzard though, you can stay as far back as you want and it does the same or even more amount of damage. But the awakened, we have moves like this, which just like, wow, man, let's just see this. I remember this. It's just going to, yep, it's just going to go all across the map. You teleport. It's, pr it's just pretty freaking crazy. Like, and that does 3,000 damage. You literally just hold the button and wait for your guy to at least get a little bit close. This one, I think, yeah, pulls your guy towards you. Man, you know, the Awakened version is really good. I've seen, you know, combats of it. It's pretty, pretty darn good. So just because of the Awakening, I think I'm going to go, hmm, I'm going to go top of B tier. Top of B tier. I know a lot of control mains or control fans are going to be, like, hating me in the comments. Just trust me on this, guys. Diamond, uh, pretty much useless. You can use it for defense. There's, like, I think one, like, move which allows you to, to give an attack, but they have to be right next to you. Uh, bottom of D tier. Literally does nothing. Doe fruit. All right, we're getting to the good ones now, man. The doe fruit is really, really good. And there's an awakening about it, too. An awakening for it. But, yeah, the doe fruit is really, really good. And I think that it's really better than stuff like Blizzard and Buddha just because of the combat it has to itself. For grinding, it can be a little bit tedious, but once you awaken it, it's pretty much just like one of the most perfect fruits. So I think this is going to be our very first S tier. Dragon. We already know that there's an awakening coming. Go watch my videos about that. But well, besides that, it's one of the best fruits in the game. Just hands down. Best for combat, probably. Maybe Kitsune is a little bit better. But, you know... Everything about it is just great, you know, and there's a rework coming with it. The moves outside of the transformation are great, and the moves with the transformation are even better. They do crazy amounts of damage, so I think this is going to be our very first god-tier fruit. Congratulations, Dragon. You are the very first god-tier fruit. We are very proud of you, and we're so happy and looking forward to your awakening, or your freaking rework. All right, falcon fruit. Oh, jeez. I feel like... It's decent, at the very least. It's, uh, I, I wanna, I wanna put it, like, I can't put it at the same as, like, Darkness or, uh, Barrier. I wanna put it in D tier, but the moves with it are not terrible. They're not, like, you know, impossible to use. You still have access to decent flight. You still have some good moves, like the, the one that, like, uh, sli slashes people around you. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to go top of D tier for, for uh, Falcon. All right, the Flame Fruit, my very first fruit. I have fondness with this fruit, and the Awakening is actually like pretty decent for it. Probably not as good as Darkness, but it, it's a pretty good Awakening. But the moves without the Awakening, to be honest, they're just, you know, not that great. The Flight is probably one of the slowest flights I've ever freaking seen. The combat for it, it's not that good. The cooldown's not that good. The damage does pretty good. But the Awakening, of course, just makes everything better. So I think we're going to go... I think we're going to go... Uh, mm, it's probably worse than Control. So we're just going to put it at bottom of B tier. The Ghost Fruit. Man. All right. This is like the... This is the third fruit I've ever had. I went from Flame to Light. Then I ate the Light Fruit by accident with like some kind of spike. <laughs> so then I just went to my most rare fruit at the time, which was Ghost. Ghost is honestly not a bad fruit. It's been recently added. And it's pretty good for PvP. The Flight is decently fast. Ah, uh, what else? You know, you can create clones of yourself, the Ghostbusters. You can just, you, there's a, uh, I think you can do like a loud roar. It does crazy amount of damage. So a lot of people will hate me for this, but I think I know what has to be done. It's going above control, and it's going to be the second best in B tier, just below darkness. Gravity Fruit, our very first legendary. All right, wait, is it, is it, <laughs> is, is control a legendary? I don't know. I think it is. I, I'm stupid. Or Blizzard, I don't know. But we have gravity. Oh my goodness. All right. A lot of people hate on gravity, probably because it's the worst legendary, which I get. But as a legendary and as a fruit with compared to all these fruits, it's not that terrible. It has some pretty good combat. It's like Blizzard, the way you can just like, you know, hit people from afar and it does pretty decent damage. It does less damage than Blizzard, but you know, for combat, it's it's pretty slow, but it is manageable. So I think I'm going to put it uh, I think I'm gonna put a bottom of A tier. All right, ice fruit. Uh, okay, the ice fruit is kind of weird because it, it's, it's not that good without the awakening, but with the awakening, it's not that good either. It's, it's like, it's decent, you know. I'm gonna save you guys the trouble. I'm just gonna put it top of C tier. Leopard fruit. All right, another mythic. One of the craziest fruits to deal with. You, you pretty much need like a dragon or a kitsune, or if you're good with dough, to beat this kind of fruit user. Crazy combat, crazy transformation. Even better when you have your hockey enabled. I think it's gonna go top of 
S tier. Let's see. There you go. Yeah, I I'm comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with that. All right, light fruit, man. I might have a lot of bias towards this fruit, but I really do think it's one of the best fruits as, as for elemental. Hear me out, all right? The awakened fruit for this is just insane. And not to mention the, the non-awakened fruit is just as good. You have a barrage that you can just hit when you do the ultimate move at the same time. So that works together very well. Transportation, it has the second best. Altogether, a really solid fruit and the awakening just makes everything better. You get an arrow that just does like so much more damage the barrage is better Th there's like a whole beam you can you can freaking fire that does like i think like 1000 damage per three seconds or something no probably probably faster way faster i think i think i'm gonna put this up at the top of a tier all right hate on me all you want but with stacked stuff that you have in your inventory like hockey whatever you have observation this fruit is great all right the love fruit all right um it's annoying you know i think we can all agree that any love fruit main is the most annoying person in the in the entire damn world they make you turn off your observation they make you you know just slow down they can't they, they turn off your transformation whatever it may be it's so annoying the flight is pretty slow too but besides that if you're using the love fruit it's decent you know i'm not gonna put it at the same tier as these guys i think i'm gonna put it uh, worse than control. So at B tier. Magma. All right. I think there's an awakening for magma too. Let's see. The first move is. Ma oh, he's doing. He's doing the ultimate move. Wait. What the? Oh, he's just. He's just getting the moves ready. I'm kind of dumb. Let's see. I think he's gonna do his Z move first. Oh yeah. First skill. Type it in the chat. Look at that. That's even better than the than the uh, Z move for unawakened because it's just one fist. But that that's probably gonna do crazy amount of damage. He doesn't have his, his damage meter up, but he's probably doing a lot of damage right now. What is he going to do now? He's going to do the X move? Let's see. Yeah, just like everything is better now. That I think that was like from the ground, it just like spews magma. Now you just like fire a magma fist at them. So that's crazy. I feel like magma deserves better than it usually gets, you know? Well, it, it has a higher value than the in-game. So I think I'm going to put this. I think I'm going to put it above gravity. And I think it's just because of the love for the fruit. But I think it is and a great awakened fruit and it could be used to do some serious damage to one of the best players the mammoth fruit all right i thought i had this in the bag when i was trading that one episode uh, or that one video i, I fumbled the bag <laughs> so mammoth is a very good fruit you know good transformation it has some it, it's it's like the t-rex right but uh, a little bit slower and just because of that i think i'm gonna put it uh i think i'm gonna put it below i'm, I'm gonna put it bottom of s tier all right I think that's fair. I think that's fair for the mammoth. And I, it, it's one of the best fruits still. Oh, the pain fruit. I'm in pain just saying and looking at this, this God-ridden thing. People thought when this fruit came out as the paw fruit, it's going to be insane. Because the, the user in the anime is one of the strongest people in the verse. But in the, in the, in the game, I don't know why. It's, it's just terrible. It's probably worse than Ice Awakened. Barrier 2. Uh, probably bomb bomb is probably better than it so i'm just gonna put c tier phoenix all right a lot of hate for this fruit a lot of hate for this fruit people think it's bad but i think it's honestly a, a really good fruit it has a good transformation good flight good moves you know you can just like hit your fire everywhere you go it's a pretty good fruit let's start a movement to have people value phoenix higher than it actually is because it deserves the love we're gonna put this uh let's see yeah, eight tiers. Portal fruit. All right, this is an interesting one because uh, for combat, people use it good or people use it bad. There's either way. You use it good when you have a good combat style, but the fruit itself, people just use it for world warp. That's it. It is a rare fruit. It is valued higher than it actually is. And just because of that one move, world warp. That doesn't mean it's a bad fruit because it just has world warp. It's a pretty good fruit because of it. But other than that, it doesn't really have much going for it. I've seen people use it more for special effects in their YouTube videos than actually using it properly. So I'm going to put it, uh, yeah, B tier. Above control. We hate you, control. You suck. The quake fruit. All right. This fruit sucks. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this fruit is kind of bad. I think there's an awakening version of it. Let's see. There's only, yeah, there's only like four moves too. Fatal demolisher. Okay. All right. All right, pretty decent damage. You can hit him from afar. Air Crusher, okay. Oh wait, that's actually oh, that's okay. That's pretty bad. Like 
you, you could like this fruit could be so much better because in the anime again one of the strongest characters probably the strongest character to ever be in the the verse uses this fruit and look look how just like they just like ruined it you know sea quake all right what the i did not know that that move existed wait what <laughs> we gotta rewind that what dude that's like basically undodgeable you need the speed of life fruit to to just like go up and escape that 9,000 damage, that's like a good finisher. Right, I'm not gonna lie, I gave the Quake Fruit too much hate. I think it should deserve top of B tier. Alright, I feel like it could it could destroy Dark Fruit, Awaken Dark in a in a fight. I'm putting my money on that one. Rocket Fruit, give me D and God. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. But the Rocket Fruit, alright. One of the newer fruits, so it has some good uh, fruit, uh, it has some good points for presentation. Uh, but other than that, pretty pretty mid fruit it has like basically like it's like all around of all the fruits but just like this one like the sucky version of it you can fly you can hit people from the air you can you know hit people from afar it just does everything that all the fruits do combined into this just like this pile of mid probably better than falcon to be honest rubber all right again another case where the main character of the anime uses it and he's probably one of the strongest people in the verse but the fruit sucks the only thing going for it is that you can turn on the the freaking thing where it uh steam comes out of your body it's called gear second in the anime i don't know what it's called in in the game though but jeez, uh, man if they had an awakening for this fruit whoo man it's gonna be crazy like i see everyone <laughs> i see everyone using it but i think it's gonna go above barrier rumble all right a lot of air or a lot of uh long range moves with this one just like the blizzard you can fire just like big electric balls and just just chuck it at people a grapefruit i think there's an awakening for it too i don't even want to look at it because I, it's just like you know it's gonna go s tier it's gonna go above mammoth because i have a feeling that it's gonna beat them you know what no i think i'm gonna keep though above sand fruit sand gets a lot of hate kind of like if you have uh like if you have blizzard you would never eat it over a sand. But, in my opinion, Awakened Sand, with good hockey, good everything, could beat Blizzard in a fight. It has good moves, it has good, you know, range on everything, good damage, when it's Awakened. When it's not Awakened, it sucks. I'm gonna put it above... Hmm, is it gonna go above everything here? Let's see. I think it's gonna go below Dark. Alright, so it's better than Ghost and all these. It's worse than Dark and Quake. I think that's fair. Shadow sucks. Booty Cheeks. It sucks so much. Actually, it's not that bad, but it's it's pr probably one of the worst for a legendary. The flight sucks. The moves suck. They're just like, you know, they don't... While well, they do pretty good damage, but the range on them sucks. Even if you have good hockey, good observation, good everything, you just wouldn't want to use uh, your freaking shadow. You'd probably use a better fruit. This is probably the only legendary that's going in the C tier. It's probably better. It's probably top of C tier, to be honest. Smoke fruit. Where's the awakening for smoke fruit? All right. We have flame awakening. We have ice awakening. What else do we have? We have freaking magma awakening. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? We have light awakening, magma awakening. No smoke fruit awakening. Why? And altogether, this fruit sucks. It's probably better than pain. Let's put it above there, at least. Probably above bomb, too. But, like, come on, man. B tier for smoke. All right. Sound fruit. Oh, my gosh. I don't know where to put this. I feel like I should put it at, like... A tier, but same place as Light, Blizzard, Buddha, no. Top of B tier. Top of B tier. Great for combat. Uh, good range. Good good transportation. Everything's going for it. That's really good. Spider. <sighs> spider. Where do I put Spider? Man. I feel like there's an Awakening for it, right? Let's see the Awakened version. Yep. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty good. I remember the, the Unawakened is just one hit, so it's pretty mid. That's pretty good. 7,000 damage. Jeez. Oh my gosh, that is a great move. I've seen enough. I think I know where I'm going to put this. It's going below light. Actually, I, I, I can't let my bias control me. we got to stay general in this tier list. It's going top of A tier. It's probably a great fruit for combat. I just haven't seen it in action yet. Spike fruit. It is a knockoff doe fruit, basically. Well, doe came after spike, so is doe a knockoff spike fruit? Honestly, I don't know. But, uh... D tier. Above chop, probably. Spin, uh, just, yeah, same thing as, uh, thing, uh, same, <laughs> same thing as spike. It's probably worse than chop, though. Am I really putting diamond at the bottom of the bottom? No, it's probably gonna, sp uh, spring? No. I think I'm gonna keep this at the bottom of the bottom. Freaking, uh, diamond. 
Wait a minute, why why is Rocket above Falcon? Alright, let's change that right now. Spirit, alright. It is a great fruit for combat. It is a great fruit for actually no, it sucks for grinding. That's the thing. It sucks for grinding. But in combat, it's probably better than Phoenix, Buddha, and Blizzard. And Light 2. And Spider? Probably better than Spider. Top of A tier. Uh, I feel like no, I feel like it's a bit stingy. Bottom of S tier. Actually, no. Better than Mammoth. I'm comfortable with that. I might move that down in the future. Let's see. Spring fruit. All right. Um. Uh. Meh. You know, it's probably in C tier. Better than all these fruits. Kind of. Actually, no. I can't put it at the same thing as barrier and shadow. I will put it right here. Better than rocket. Actually, no. Rocket's better. I like rocket. Uh, spring fruit sucks. You barely know when you're using it, like, cause you cannot see anything. It sucks. Venom. All right. Venom is a pretty, really good fruit. Not pretty good. Really good. It's good for combat. I don't know how it is for grinding, but I heard that it's just great for combat. But the people who main it are just like, they're bullied, you know, a lot. Uh, rightfully so, you know, it's an annoying fruit. Kind of like love, but it's way better than love. We're going to put it uh, right there. A tier. All right. We came finally to the last two, Kitsune and T-Rex. Right now, we're going over Kitsune, the best fruit in the game, hands down. And it's the fruit I made. It's great for combat, great for grinding, great for everything, man. It's just a great fruit. The transformation is even better, and just everything about it is great. God tier. T-Rex. I'm not going to lie. T-Rex kind of stinks. Actually, no, I'm joking. Without the transformation, T-Rex would not be the fruit it is today. We're going to put it top of 18 and there we go this is the final tier list oh my goodness all right jeez this video took a while to make so if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe and turn on that bell icon for future notifications just so you know whenever i upload and you know what i'm happy with this tier list if you guys want me to change it in the future let me know because i feel like there's some things that needed to be changed like shadow fruit i know some of you guys are gonna get mad over this but if you guys did enjoy this video i i, <laughs> I hope you did and i'll see you guys later